<laughs> that sounded like George St. Pierre. Yeah, I know, exactly. <laughs> that sounded like George St. Pierre. Are you intoxicated? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That fight, right, was a oh, crazy don't, fight. Don't, 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 don't. Let's not talk about it. No, you're okay. It no, happened. I don't want to talk about you, but here's what I do want to talk about, okay? Please, please, We don't want to talk about you, but I have a couple of other questions, okay? <sighs> what the fuck happened to you, you want to young Chichek? Okay. First of all, that's why I'm here. You ask me whatever the fuck you want. This yeah. is your show. Very happy to be here. Thank yeah. you all for having me. Secondly, um, she got a boob job. She got a boob job. Wait, uh, you wanted it? Is that what you're referring to? No. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> okay is that also true? Yeah. Wait, is that true, really? Did. I was talking about about, uh, talking about it on my podcast the other day. Right. You know, we broke it down in fine detail. Yeah. You know, the, this is important to MMA fans. It's hard-hitting news. She's got bigger tits now. <laughs> you know, God bless so her. Is, oh, wow. um, wait, Amisha Tate got uh, implants like midway through her career too, right? Yeah, she did. And um, what's her name? Um, Paige. Paige has got a she job too. And we broke that down on my podcast. <laughs> no, what really? is that? Anytime a, time of- a woman gets a bo- you know, bigger tits. A lot of breakdowns. Well, it's, it's it, you know, it's, it's technical info. Right, it, it is. really is though because I had my breast implants removed and I felt oh, really? exponentially lighter when they were and I was an athlete for most of my, most of my life but when they were on I it didn't seem it put me off balance a lot mm. it just yeah. didn't seem right so I took them out right I mean, but she's lost three in a row, and she. Oh, used to that's be, what you mean. That's what I fucking mean, Michael. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. I'm just. I just want to ask you is because the thing is, is that she was so she was the most feared person in that strawweight division. Yep. There was not a fight that was even. I mean, I guess between her and Carolina was a little with Carolina, clubs. Yeah. Carolina, kind of close. yeah, yeah. But um, I mean, she went through those Brazilian chicks and. And now I just feel like she completely lost it. What happened? Is there confidence? No, no, no. So here's the thing. I mean, she didn't completely lose it. You know, <laughs> she, she she got knocked out against Rose Namajunas. Right. You know, and and no shame. You know, when no you're shame. stepping in there and you find the best people in the world, you know, generally women, no disrespect, you know, one punch doesn't change everything, you know, because uh. they're small and they don't generate as much force. Mm. But in this situation, she got caught with a good shot and, and she got finished. God bless her. You okay. know, it happens to everybody. No shame. She came back. She had a rematch. And it was a very, very close fight. She feels that she won. She didn't win. She lost clearly, in my opinion. Yeah. But still, she did a better job. It was a close fight. Rose Namajunas on those two occasions was just a better fighter. Then yes. she went up a weight class and fought Shevchenko, mm. a oh woman that's God. already beaten her twice, a woman that's bigger than her, fought at 135. Joanna went up to 25. She went down to mm-hmm. 25. It was just, it, it was never a good matchup for yeah. her anyway. It wasn't the smartest move. Whoever her manager is, isn't that smart. But uh, but there you go. You know, she's still a very, very yeah. good yeah. world-class fighter. I don't like and that about him. This what? Is he turns his He turns his back on his favorite fighters oh, after she, the first you, loss. Well, yeah, because he's a fickle, fair-weather fan. That's what <sighs> they do. You know, they, they build you up, they make <laughs> you feel good, and then they talk shit. Oh, you know, Jesus it's like, have Christ. you ever... Have you ever had a bad set? Yes, I've yeah. had many is bad me, sets, that, Michael. You know what? That's it. He's awful. That's I never, right. So you ever see what I'm going saying? Going to oh, see him again? God, it's the same, huh? I know it's not the same because you probably still got paid your money, right? And you probably didn't get beat to shit either, right? So as an MMA fight, you go there, and if you lose your fight, the weight generally, yeah, generally the weight structured in the UFC. If you lose, you only get half your money. You get half to show and half if you win. Wow. Generally, yeah. you know the lower level guys, higher level guys. It's a little different. It's a little different. So if you lose, you lo- lose half your money, and you've had the shit kicked out of you. You've been embarrassed, and then you got Bobby Lee talking shit about you. Oh my no. god! So what? I think I've changed my tune <laughs> immediately. No, no, no. But I, stay true, I, to, true to yourself, please. I know. All right, I don't. <laughs> I don't change my tone. All right, and I want because I want to make a point. Good, I want I want to make a point. Okay, it's rude to point because en- Nganu is that his name? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Francis, right? Yeah, I'm, I call no, him Nganu. I call him Nganu. Yeah. I don't know the guy. Do you Very know him? Tone. You know him. And he's also well. He's a big black Frenchman. You know what I mean? Is that, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've had a few conversations. I honestly had no idea what we talked about. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. we were in the locker room at the Performance Institute and his massive cock was swinging about. And I'm like, wait, wait, you saw his he's penis? He's saying something to me, but yeah. I'm like blinded by the light type thing. <laughs>